Hey, what's up, you CYBL Army and Moneymakers? Welcome back to the channel. We are going to talk about CYBL, OTC traded stock right now. We are at one cent, precisely 0.012. We were down 7.59% in last trading session on Friday. I'm precisely going to cover in this particular video whether CYBL can spike 5x from this price point. In other words, can it hit five and a half cents? What it takes for CYBL to 500% or 400%? 100% from this price point, what it takes for CYBL to spike up once again. We'll precisely cover what CYBL shared with us before a day that they have exceeded their revenue plan by 28% to drive company's key accomplishment in the month of January. More precisely, they delivered 1.9 million in revenue versus their goal of 1.5 million, which is exceeded by 28%. I will also talk about the trading pattern and what is going on, including the volume compared to the average volume. We'll talk about RSI, their overall volume, moving averages, MACD, so on and so forth, and talk about what it takes for CYBL to get back into the business in terms of the stock price. We'll also talk about one of the key catalysts that are coming up in regards to what the company is doing for their shareholder. We'll also talk about the challenges around the authorized share and share structure that they have at the moment. So we'll talk about pros and cons in return. I don't really ask you ask of you too much but just hit the like button subscribe to the channel doesn't really cost you anything i put a ton of energy resources and my time in building this video hoping i can share and give back to the community and you can make informed financial decision so hit the like button subscribe to the channel you can also join patreon it's 4.99 a month we have private discord and you can talk to me directly and like-minded people if you see for five days, CYBL is down almost 8%, pretty flat. So we started with 1.4 or 0.014, one and a half cent. We closed almost 0.012. So in last five days, we are down almost 8%. For one month, we are down 37%. For year to date, we are down 58, 59%. Now, what drives this downtrend? You have seen that for ILUS, I L U S, we are also down. We're cutting actually half in, in January 2022 and for the rest of the February. Now, CYBL shared with us this particular key accomplishment for the month of January that they drove the revenue 28% higher than what they were expecting for. January 2022. As the company mentions and as an advanced digital technology platform company leading digital transformation evolution across industries, breakthrough, pass, platform as a service and says software as a service, advanced US unmanned aircraft system, cutting edge lighting solutions and renewable energy and infrastructure technology solutions. I wanted to take an opportunity to remind you that they have existing relationships with DOD, Department of Defense, and many other agencies, including National Guard within the United States. The company is in the business for the last 20 years, and this 2021 was their one of the biggest, biggest year, and they continued the momentum for 2022 as well. The company shared that company announced that the company exceeded its January revenue plan of 1.5 million US dollars by 28%, precisely by delivering 1.9 million dollars in revenue for the month of January. The company also realized 13% increase in January revenue over December's record revenue. So company has consecutive many months of exceeding the revenue target in millions, which is super exciting. For the first time in the company's history, January revenue results mark the sixth consecutive month of sustained revenue growth. In addition, the company expects the revenue growth to continue to achieve 2022 revenue outlook by 44.8 million US dollars. They had a pretty low revenue in 2020, followed by 2021, but right after Q1 2021, they expanded and they grew super, super quick. And they drive, they want to drive a substantial positive net income from operations for the full year of 2022. 
This is what I'm most excited about to learn more about what is their bring home money for themselves, for their shareholders and for their investors. The company is pretty small at the moment and they have large opportunity to grow. And they also have a ton of catalysts into the pipeline that can shoot the revenue into very positive direction as well as their net income in positive direction. As CEO mentioned, dear CIBL community, we are exponentially or we are exceptionally ex ex excited by our January revenue performance, which exceeded our plan of 1.5 million by almost 30 percent and puts us ahead of the internal goal of achieving our 2022 revenue target of 45 million US dollars. In a typical year, generally Cyberlux revenue builds through Q2 to Q4, with Q1 being minimal contribution. As of now, Q1 has becoming pretty, pretty successful. Let's say if they run away with their 1.9 million revenue month by month, we are looking at close to $6 million in revenue for Q1 for the company. Not only that, with the positive cash flow and positive net income, the company can do miracles. I will be also covering why the stock is down and what we can expect when the stock will see more and more revenue and positive net income. One thing I like to remind myself is fundamentally nothing has changed when we see the stock went down. If you take a look up for one year, we saw that the stock went to six and a half cents in September 2021. So four or five months ago, the stock hit six and a half cents. If you'd recall, they did not really have such a huge revenue at that point. They did not really have such a huge catalyst into their book of business. Also, they did not expand the way they expanded right now. What has changed from then and now is just the sentiment within the market and the sh in the stock market in general. We have seen some of the hiccups due to the bond tapering that Fed announced and the interest rate hikes that we are expecting. We may expect as high as four times rate hikes based on the news and analysis. I'm not a financial advisor, nor I'm claiming anything. So do your own due diligence research and analysis before you buy or sell. What I think for myself is there's a pretty good possibility for the share for this particular stock to hit five or six cents or maybe all time high. The 52 week range, as you see right here, is 0 0.0006 to 0 0.066, which is six and a half cents. We were sub penny stocks just before a few months. Right now, we are trading at about one cent. However, we are almost, almost five cents, five and a half cents rather down from the peak, while the company has tremendously grew a ton more. They're also looking into their restructuring, their share structure to benefit their shareholders as well. They want to become a $100 million revenue company on the top. As they're mentioning right now, that with the acquisition strategy that they're executing at the moment, old rules are drastically changing with month-to-month -month revenue growth from all of our business units. If you remember, they have divided their business units in four different categories and they have multi-million dollars opportunity in each of the business. With the Cretex and DAS team that they have acquired at the moment, their new digital platform solutions business unit and this chief revenue officer that they are working with, they have fully launched the next phase of Cyberlux company as they build the global enterprise and capture the $1 trillion global market that they're addressing. Company is saying for the six consecutive months, we have exceeded our expected revenue performance and we are delighted to see the growth head from December to January as well. Over the last six months, we have ramped up less than $1 million in revenue to almost $10 million in revenue and set pace to build $2 billion Cyberlux company valuation over the next several years. As the Cyberlux community understands, we are just getting started. Now, they reported $1.9 million revenue that exceeded their both January planned target of $1.5 million by 28% and internal operational milestone for the full growth outlook. They also saw month-to-month -month revenue growth of 13% or December's revenue in 2021. They announced the appointment of this chief revenue officer for Cyberlux Corporation, and he'll be helping them and responsible for overseeing the business development, strategic business partnerships, sales execution across the company's book of business units, 
flight eye us solution advanced lighting solution that they have dod relationship department of defense and infrastructure technology solutions and the new digital platform solutions to target the highest impact and most scalable opportunities and they want to also accelerate the collaboration with Cyberlux Alliance Channel Partnership, which brings that more than 20 years of global experience in sales, both in SaaS and enterprise software solution. And they also announced this acquisition of Digital Automation Solutions or DAS LLC as an innovative software solutions providing a source of groundbreaking intellectual property. And with that, the company is building their bases and their infrastructure. With this, comparing during January, they had numerous meetings, significant ALS in the US opportunity that we have begun pursuing as the company mentioned. They also say that we expect contracting in the next fiscal quarter, Q2 2022, will be having more to say for this complete and there is no further competitive threat. Companies focusing a ton more on their ITS unit, which is infrastructure technology solutions, in working coordination with the South American team that executes 31 hectare plan and introduce ITS services across South America. We're also at the next phase of $47 million US infrastructure opportunity, which we have seen progress, but it's not closed just yet. So there are more news coming as to when the company is going to hit more and more milestones in terms of the revenue. As part of the Q1 plan, company mentions we are narrowing down our financial partner list to ensure that we are solely focused on shareholder value and creation. We have made significant progress in uh, institutionalizing, institutionalizing <laughs> the, the, the Cyberlux organization and continuing to drive the company forward as quickly as possible. Shareholders will begin to see changes in our communication and corporate transitioning as they continue to share more and more guidance. Now, what this means is companies focusing a ton more in growing in the revenue. Four big milestones or four big things that they're working on as of February is the business update that they shared with us. iBank status, which is the Q1 plan. They're narrowing down the financial partner list to ensure that we are solely focused on the shareholder value, which is once again a great news. We have made significant progress with CYBL organization, continuing to make sure that the company moves forward as soon as possible and update with uh, all this information will become available very, very soon. They're also focusing more on 700 million destroyed share. Progress has been made for last 35 days and all but one requirement has been met with this legal process. Targeting Q1, pushing this ASAP, this is amazing. Now, one of the challenges that I want to call out, as I always, I do pros and cons, their market cap right now is $72.8 million. They have authorized shares of $8.7 billion, which is kind of a concern because that dilutes the share and the share structure that they have. This is OTC traded stock not available on all the platforms, but they have focused on getting more and more revenue into their book of business and become profitable. And at the end of the day, they want to get listed on NASDAQ. So NASDAQ uplisting is coming not anytime soon, but that's definitely into the roadmap. One thing that you want to also consider is their outstanding share structure, which is 5.8 billion shares, which is causing some of the hiccups as well with the restricted and unrestricted share with the float of 3.7, almost 3.8 billion float, which is once again a massive float that is a bit of a concern before the stock can go to higher levels and get on NASDAQ, potentially get listed. But we have seen what happens with Eyeless, so they can acquire some companies, they can also create a spin-off subsidiary company, so on and so forth, and get uplisted on NASDAQ. So there is also that possibility. If you think about what uh, CYBL is doing in terms of the volume, take a look right here. They did 46.6 million in volume compared to the average volume of 55.3 million on Friday, the last trading session. Why this is super important is they are maintaining the re their volume day by day, 46 mil, 51, 67, 58 million, 42 million, 71 million, 90 million. So they are doing pretty healthy in, revenue, in volume rather, but the stock price is dipping. And this is, by the way, not only CYBL, but many penny stocks, many OTC stocks, especially sub penny stocks suffered a lot in last few weeks. With all that said, what is the big catalyst? The catalyst here for CYBL to go to five to six cents, one is the overall market outlook and the condition, the way the stock market is. As you see right here, Nasdaq was down almost 400%, 2.78%, close to 3% down just in last trading session. 
Dow Jones was down 503 points, one and a half percent down, and S&P is almost down 2% in last trading session. With all these hiccups into the market, it's impacting these stocks, especially the OTC stocks. Remember, these stocks are pretty risky. It's risk versus reward, so you can make a ton of money on the flip side. You can lose 50, 60, 70% as well. So do that wisely and, and make sure that you, it doesn't, you don't invest the money that wakes you up at night. You want to invest the money that uh, let, you don't really care if you lose them or it goes to zero. For stocks like ILS and CYBL, I love to write for free because there's a huge fluctuation. One cent can definitely double, triple, quadruple in upcoming future, but patience is the key given that a ton of catalysts are coming up. The company may try to identify some areas to raise capital because company may need capital as they grow and as they progress. However, with 44, 45 million dollars in revenue, I really want to see what the profitability rate and how much money the company brings home that can be reinvested into, acqu into acquisition, expanding their businesses and hire, hire key individuals at the executive positions within the company. If you want to see right here once again, so in my opinion, patience is a key. In next few months, maybe in next few years, you may see 10x return for this kind of stock. And once again, this changes pretty rapidly, so you want to keep an eye out as to what happens with this. I'll do my due diligence and make sure that I keep sharing information with you. So you want to subscribe to this channel, hit the like button, and you want to also turn on the notification bell so you don't miss out on any video and it will keep you posted. As you see, our, our moving average is uh, two, about two cents right now. We're at one cent. So moving average is double than the real time price, which is something I love to see, which means the stock will have positive momentum looking at the key indicators on this KPIs. Looking at the RSI, that is 36, which is once again oversold condition. That means that there will be more buying happening next week. We'll see how it turns out. But that suggests that it will push the stock into the positive direction and into the north. So you want to consider all this with the MACD. MACD is not stunning in my opinion. This is not the MACD that I like to see. The red is the MACD and the orange is the signal. But all in all, it tells a pretty good story. It is not bearish condition. However, we want to see the stock go above two, two and a half cent, close to three cents. And then we'll be able to see where it will go. If you take a look right here, we were at one cent, around one cent before a few months, precisely before four to five months, which is where we are back at right now. But if you want to once again go up above, we really want to see that 314 level, which is once again a pretty good resistance. But once we cross this, we will be able to go to four, four and a half cent just in no time. So this is what I'm trying to say that the fundamentally nothing has changed. The company is doing pretty good. Whatever change has made, that is the sentiment into the stock market as a whole OTC market and penny stock market. The company, if at all, is in a better condition than what we have seen them before six months. Their stock structure did not really change. They're focusing a ton more on working with their capital share structure, destroying 700 million shares. They're meeting in Miami to make sure that they hit all this $47 million revenue opportunity. More to come in next 21 days. And they are also doing meetings left and right, making sure that their, their Department of Defense the relationships that they have right now, they can strengthen, get more revenue, become more profitable and bring value back home for their investors and shareholders. With that, I just wanted to ask, I want to ask you to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next video.